Welcome to another video in our series of using SPSS. In this video, I will show you how to create control charts such as the XBAR chart, R chart, and P charts using SPSS 29, but this could be easily done using older version of SPSS. So in the first part, I will show you how to do the XBAR. R chart. I have the file open over here with the data set. We're going to go to analyze, scroll all the way down to quality control, and choose, of course, control charts. As you can see here, this is the same for P chart as well. So this is for all control charts. If you're doing a bar R chart, you're doing the moving average, you're doing the P proportion or the C chart over here. So in our case, we're going to choose the X bar R chart. And we're going to click on keep cases are units, click on define. Okay, so here in this window, we're going to choose the PDFP as our process management. Uh, sorry, process measurement and the subgroups defined by sample. So this is the process measurement. This is the samples that we have. Of course, choose if you want the export using range or standard deviation. Do you want to display the R chart or not? And if you click on the control rules, you can specify which rules you want for your control chart. Now, as you know, there are different rules depending on which rule you're looking for. You can select all control rules. You can select above three sigma, three standard deviation. Two out of the last three above, you can check eight points above the center line, eight consecutive points six row and trending so check whatever rules you want and click on continue you can also click on statistics and choose if you want the upper limit lower limit or target and so on so these are the options that you can choose once you're done click on ok and spss will produce the output So as you can see, SPSS will create the output for us. It creates the control chart for the mean, and below here it creates the control chart for the range. If you look at the range, you can see that there is no violation of the rule. It shows me the average, it shows me the upper and the lower control limit. And based on the three rules that we picked, there is no eight consecutive points, there is no point below the, up, the lower control or above the upper control. But if we look at the control chart for the mean, you can see that there is violation displayed in red. Same idea, this is the upper control, average and lower control. And you can see the violations are at these two points here, that they are below the low, lower control limit. No points above the upper control, no eight consecutive points. So that's based on the rules that we picked. If you picked other rules, it will also show you the violation, and that you will see that the violations are displayed in red. Now, in the second part, I will show you how to do a p-chart. For this part, I have already the file open. We have 25 samples. They're all size 19. We have the number of defects in each one of them, and we have the proportion of defects. So for this, we're going to go to the same place, Analyze, Quality Control, and Control Charts. But instead of choosing the X bar, we're going to choose the P and P chart. And we're going to choose cases are subgroups, because there are samples. And we're going to click on Define. We're going to choose the defects, not the proportion of defects, as the number non-conforming. We're going to choose the sample 
as a subgroup. We're going to define the sample size as 90. And of course, we have proportion. And also, we can going to go to control rules and pick the rules that we want. I already picked the same rules as the previous part, the above, below three standard deviation, and the eight points above the center line. And of course, eight points below the center line. Click continue. Click OK. We'll create our chart. And you can see that there is violation here because we have three samples that they have the number of defects or the proportion is above the upper control line. So that's how we create X bar, R and P chart. Creating a C chart is similar. You choose the C chart option using SPSS. And in this case, it's SPSS 29. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on statistical analysis using SPSS and Excel.